Developing now is the unsealing of documents from a lawsuit involving convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. The first batch contained 40 separate documents. It names more than 150 associates of the disgraced financier. Today, New York's Romney Smith live in our newsroom with a closer look, Romney, as these documents come out. They do. And you know what? There are some really big names being revealed. We're getting a little more insight into their connection to the late billionaire and convicted sex offender named Jeffrey Epstein. Keep in mind, there are sections that are still redacted because one of the victims may have been as young as 13 at the time of the alleged crimes. Now, some of these big names include in, in the new documents include former presidents Donald Trump and Bill Clinton, Michael Jackson, magician David Copperfield and England's Prince Andrew. Now, even though we have video of former President Trump parting with Epstein seen here, keep in mind none of these high profile people named in the newly released documents face any charges of wrongdoing. However, we do know that flight records confirm former President Bill Clinton flew on the billionaire's plane several times. Ghislaine Maxwell, Epstein's girlfriend, who is currently serving jail time for trafficking young girls with and for him, says Clinton likely had a meal on Epstein's plane, but denies he visited his infamous private island. Clinton has denied speaking to Epstein in more than a decade and denies knowledge of any criminal acts. Now, in these newly released documents, there are numerous references to massaging of Epstein by young girls. Back in 2019, NBC Savannah Guthrie interviewed one of Epstein's accusers who discussed why she came forward and why it's not just about Epstein. Justice now is holding accountable the perpetrators that helped him and participated with him. All right, so we know we've told you there are a lot of high-profile people involved, like magician David Copperfield. Well, there are even more names, like lawyer Alan Dershowitz and late New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson. None of them have been charged with a crime, and NBC is waiting to hear back from the representatives. By the way, Michael, this is not necessarily it. Right now, NBC News is still reviewing dozens of exhibits containing hundreds of pages, so we'll have more if anything else newsworthy is revealed.